Hello, my fellow health info seekers. My name is Shelby Hyde. I'm a registered nurse. I'm also a student at the College of uh, Nursing for University of Texas at Arlington in their MSN education program. And right now we're gonna do a brief video um, on Harvoni treatment for hepatitis C. This is meant to be done with uh, public health or private clinic nurses at like a lunch and learn or maybe just a 30 minute or so in service um, during the day. Our objectives for this lesson are to identify the modes of transmission and signs and symptoms of hepatitis C, differentiate between patient populations and which are appropriate for treatment with Harvoni, and to formulate a plan of care um, for both the patient and the family for someone receiving treatment um, with Harvoni for hepatitis C. Incidents of hep C, um, as you can see by the chart, Three in one people with hep C were born during the years of 1945 and 1965. Uh, approximately 3.2 million Americans have hepatitis C in, and worldwide somewhere between 130 and 170. It's estimated that millions of Americans are living with undiagnosed hep C and that this infection has been present for 20 years or more. The CDC recommends patients that were born between the years of 1945 and 1965 be tested for hepatitis C by their PCP. Um, many people that have the hep C infection are asymptomatic for years, and as they age, um, they begin to exhibit signs and symptoms. At this point, uh, serious damage to the liver could have already occurred. The pathophysiology of hepatitis C Hepatitis C virus is a single-stranded virus. It enters the hepatic cell. It releases the specific genome causing hepatic inflammation. As the liver attempts to uh, regenerate from this inflammation, this continuous inflammation, instead of regenerating, it um, causes scarring. So you can see on the picture, the envelope um, protects the outside of the cell. And then on the inside is the little piece of hepatitis C DNA, RNA, viral RNA. And as this um, structure punctures through or um, pushes through the hepatocyte in, in the liver, the, the hepatic cells, then they actually use the host own body to, um, to help feed and replicate. There are nine district, distinct genotypes of hepatitis C. Um, some, some experts in some articles um, might even talk about up to 11. 15 to 45% of people that are um, infected with hepatitis C virus will spontaneously clear the virus, and the remaining have a chronic hepatitis C infection. So millions are undiagnosed and maybe asymptomatic for years. The 20% with chronic hepatitis C will develop cirrhosis or uh, liver cancer. And like I said earlier, there are not between nine and 11 hepatitis C virus genotypes. Hepatitis C virus genotype one represents about 70 to 75% of all hepatitis C virus infections. So HCV transmission, it's a bloodborne disease, a bloodborne virus. So um, receipt of infect, receiving infected blood products or blood transfusion, um, inadequate sterilization of medical equipment, vertical transmission between the mom and newborn in utero, uh, sexual transmission, IV drug use using contaminated needles, Piercings or tattoos done um, with HCV contaminated equipment. And healthcare, healthcare workers are also at an increased risk if they experience a needle stick while obtaining a blood specimen from a patient with hepatitis C. Signs and symptoms, uh, fever, 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 Fahrenheit. Fatigue, decreased appetite, weight loss, nausea, abdominal pain, just not feeling well. And then later on, as, as the um, 
infection progresses and the degeneration of the liver takes place, you'll have jaundice, yellow mucous membranes under the eyes, inner surface of the lips and, um, and skin, and that can be present in about 20% of people. So our drug that we're gonna talk about for treatment of hepatitis C is uh, Harvoni. It's ledipsevir plus the sofosbuvir. It was approved in October of 2014 as the first combination pill. It typically, a patient will have to um, take the drug for eight to 24 weeks. Most literature says 12 to 24 weeks, depending on the patient population. Originally, when Harvoni was released onto the market, FDA approved, it was only FDA approved for HCV genotype one, which fortunately is the most, the most prevalent. However, now it is also approved for use in HCV genotypes four, five, and six. Um, it is the first combination pill approved that you don't have to use interferon or, or uh, ribavirin, both of which have terrible side effects and led to a lot of patients that were being treated for hepatitis C prior to Harvoni to um, have unsuccessful completion um, of therapy because of the side effects. And then again, treatment length depends on patient population, which we're gonna talk about shortly. So the mechanism of action from the two drugs in Harvoni, um, there are two direct acting antiviral agents. Um, each stop the replication of hepatitis C virus, but they come at it in a different direction. So they're both very strong, very potent drugs that, um, that get in there and they stop that point of when the hepatitis C virus is actually using the host body's um, own, own mechanisms, um, lipoproteins, ribosomes, to continue their replication. Patient population for treatment of, of HC, HCV, um, with Harvoni. So treatment naive patients are patients who have never received treatment for their HCV infection. Treatment experienced patients are those who have had treatment in the past with a drug regimen other than Harvoni. And you can see the tip, the guidance right now, um, is 12 weeks for treatment naive without cirrhosis. Um, 12 weeks for treatment experience, experience without, without cirrhosis and then treatment experience with cirrhosis, um, 24 weeks. And then hepatitis C, our nursing plan of care for a patient diagnosed with, with, um, hep C taking Harvoni is you want to obtain a thorough medical history, um, and health history. You want to ensure medication reconciliation is conducted because a lot of patients see a lot of different physicians. They don't always communicate with each other and phys the, phys the patient doesn't always let their physicians know that they're being prescribed other medications from other places. Uh, you'll wanna perform a pregnancy test if, um, you know, if it's childbearing, a woman of childbearing age, because Harvoni is, there's no studies on um, the use of Harvoni with pregnant or nursing women or the pediatric population. Uh, you want to review diagnostic tests, check for H, um, hepatitis B virus, uh, check their HIV status, and, um, and then you'll want to do some monthly tests. You'll also want to confirm the genotype of their hep C infection um, to make sure that you're doing, that the, the appropriate medication is, is being um, prescribed for the patient. Also, if, for insurance purposes in covering the Harvoni, they won't cover it if it's not um, being prescribed for hep C uh, genotype one, four, five, or six. And then you'll want to do your liver function test throughout therapy and then follow up with a viral load um, testing about three months following completion. Patient family education. Um, with a, the great thing is with a three month treatment, over 95% of people infected with chronic hepatitis C can be cured. And then here's a list of resources. Here are pre and post test questions and answers that will be done at the beginning of the lesson. The pre test questions and answers are uh, more knowledge-based, and the post-test questions and answers are 
a little more clinical reasoning, applying that work. And then here are my references. I appreciate it so much and have a great evening.